asked what is the difference between dominant and recessive genes. Have you ever wondered why some traits, like eye color or hair texture, are passed down from parents to children in a specific way? It all comes down to the concepts of dominant and recessive genes. Let's start with the basics. Each gene has different versions, known as alleles. When you inherit genes from your parents, you get two copies of each gene, one from each parent. These alleles can be either dominant or recessive. A dominant allele is like the loudspeaker in a room. It's the one that gets heard no matter what. If you have one copy of the dominant allele, you'll show the trait associated with it. For example, if the dominant allele is for brown eyes, let's call it B, and you have one B and one B, the recessive allele for blue eyes, your eyes will still be brown because the B allele overrules the B allele. On the other hand, a recessive allele is like the quiet voice in the room. It only gets heard if there's no loudspeaker around. You need to have two copies of the recessive allele to show the trait. Using the eye color example again, if you have two B alleles BB, then your eyes will be blue. Here's another example to make it clearer. Huntington's disease is caused by a dominant allele. If you inherit just one copy of this mutated gene, you'll develop the condition. However, for a recessive condition like cystic fibrosis, you need to inherit two copies of the mutated gene, one from each parent, to develop the condition. If you have just one copy, you're a carrier but won't have the condition yourself. There's also a third scenario called codominance, where neither allele is completely dominant or recessive. In this case, both alleles contribute equally to the trait. For instance, the blood type AB is a result of codominance between the A and B alleles. Sex-linked genes are another interesting aspect. These genes are found on the X and Y chromosomes, which determine sex traits. For example, hemophilia is a recessive sex-linked condition. If you're a male with an XY genotype, you only need one copy of the hemophilia allele to develop the condition because you have only one X chromosome. Females with their XX genotype need two copies of the hemophilia allele to develop the condition. So to wrap it up, dominant genes are like the strong voices that always get heard, while recessive genes are the quiet voices that only get heard when there's no strong voice around. Understanding this difference helps us make sense of how traits are inherited and why some conditions are more common in certain individuals.